Genesis 27, 8 through 10 says, Now therefore, my son, listen to me as I command you. Go now to the flock and bring me two choice goats from there, that I may prepare them as a savory dish for your father, such as he loves. Then you shall bring it to your father, and he may eat, so that he may bless you before his death. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Genesis 27-1 through 28-9, and I encourage you to read that passage. Now, there's a tale of somebody called Marmion. It's a story by Sir Walter Scott and published in 1808, and there was a story of deception. Towards the end of the poem, the famous saying, Oh, what a tangled web we weave when we first practice to deceive is written. It's an interesting story and one that really should be read. The story of Jacob and Esau, particularly in how it relates to the stolen blessing, follows along the same as the tale of Marmion. Jacob, by the suggestion of his mother, chooses to deceive his father Isaac and steal the blessing normally reserved for the eldest son. While it was obviously in God's plan that Jacob be the one who carries on the line from Abram, God did not create or condone the lie and or deceit that Rebecca and Jacob came up with. We all tell lies. Most of them, at least I hope most of them, are small, and we believe that we don't do very much harm and probably do some good. The fact that we're wrong about doing no harm and doing good for the long term is another problem. That all lies end eventually badly. It's an interesting thought that you do not have to remember much of what you say if you tell the truth, and that you have to remember everything of what you say if you don't. Because if you tell the truth the next time you tell a story, it will be the same story. But if you lie, everything will ultimately compound, and then you up and end up in more trouble than when you actually started. The problem that we generally run into is that we think we must lie to get out of the situation. The question, does this dress make me look fat, is much too dangerous a question. We feel compelled to say that something doesn't get us in trouble and that makes the other person happy, but no matter what our lie, it will be found out, and that's the witness or Christ will be compromised. 